All right, here's a quick update with the L8T swap into my 2018 Sierra uh, half ton. Um, halfway there, uh, I currently got the complete drivetrain out. Um, I'm actually about to start putting parts back into the truck. Uh, so I figured I'd make a quick video real quick to, to kind of go over a few things. Um, before I get everything back in. So, uh, see here, got everything out of the truck. I just got done pressure washing, putting some engine degreaser in there, getting it all uh, cleaned up. Um, I might do something about some of the bare spots uh, on the frame. I end up taking the whole uh, radiator assembly out plus this cross member that goes right here. I just didn't have enough room. This is the first time I ever pulled an engine out of one of these trucks. So I didn't have enough room so I ended up pulling this out. Which is fine because I had to, I was taking the radiator out anyway um, to, to put a thicker cord radiator in it since I'm going to be towing a lot with this. Um, Everything's gone pretty smooth so far. Um, for being seven years old, I'm still kind of amazed at how brittle the wiring harness loom is. That's, again, why I, I bought a new harness for the L8T. Um, I end up getting a new air conditioning compressor. I mean, it should come in tomorrow, but I'm going to put it on. The other one worked fine, but the clutch was starting to squeal on it so I figure well while I got it out it's a pain in the butt to replace might as well um, get a new one in there so I don't have to do it in the future um, same thing with the transmission cooler lines they run uh, like on the thermostat right there where the transmission would be across here and then under here and then they clip on a bracket right here this bracket here the clip here so again I they, those weren't leaking so but still for I think it was like 40 50 bucks for a new set of GM lines I figured it might as well replace it while I got it out because my luck they would start leaking you know within a year so uh, th those are getting replaced same thing with the old cooler lines which are you know, right here I don't know if all trucks have this. This is probably like some K something RPO code, but it does have the the heavy duty oil cooler on this truck. There's the thermostat that mounts there. Um, yeah, L8T iron block. So I'm looking forward to getting this in the truck. And three weeks from now, we're doing our first RV trip at the end of March. So pressure's on. Um, radiator that came in this truck you see i didn't really realize this but you see the core was starting to leak here uh, where the tube sprays into the end plate so i was going to replace it anyway but you can tell this is a thinner core radiator here and then i bought a an nht specific core which is right here um, you can kind of tell it's a little bit, I think it's like an inch and a quarter core where the other one's like a seven eighths core. It's a little bit thicker core. This is a, uh, not a GM. GM is really proud of their radiators. This is a, uh, oh, it's like a CHR or CHT. I don't know, something on Rock Auto, but it seems to be a nice quality. Uh, same thing, I got a new condenser as well. These are known to, I think, crack and leak on that over there. So while it's all out, I might as well put a condenser in it. So, the thing is, the factory condenser is painted black, and it's got this patch here. I don't know what that patch is for, but, you know, like the top section is the transmission cooler, and the condenser, you can kind of see where it splits right here. Transmission cooler, AC condenser. So, all that's getting replaced as well. Um, yeah. 
Try anything else. I did get the, but I'm gonna run flex fuel on this. Just I put the new fuel lines in. Now, I'll put another video up of those fuel lines, but just the factory flex fuel setup. Um, just in case in the future, if I want to put like a 2650 or some ethanol in it, that those lines are a pain in the butt. You would never be able to get those lines in and out of the truck without the drivetrain out. So, um, yeah, those are in there. Um, transmission transfer case. Uh, I still got a. This is an 8L90. Um, I've been. Transmission's got like 180,000 miles on it. It does have a torque converter shutter. I've done like a, a flush and stuff. It's not been bad, but I've already tuned out the uh, any of the slip and add a little bit of pressure to hold the converter. And that seems to be okay, but I'm going to put a new converter, new clutches, and then I got basically the whole Sonics catalog to throw at this thing. So all like the their, their zip kit and their TCC kit um for the valve body and stuff so and then this is the, uh, the gm rebuild kit i had to get the rebestus uh clutches um these are like their um it's like their high performance clutches or something. They're GPZ friction. Kind of hard to see there. 8L90. And then uh, I've already taken some stuff out of this kit. So this is a, a, a GM kit for the transmission. So I think with this new converter, I am going to run a stock converter. I think stock converter is fine. It, um, there's like multiple part numbers for converters. The the 53 and the 62 converter are different part numbers. I don't know why, but maybe one's a little bit higher. I think maybe the 53 is a little bit higher stall than the 62. I I really don't know. I, I could be lying, but there's two different part numbers. So, but I bought the 62 converter to put in it. Maybe it's a little tighter down low. I I I don't know. Or maybe the maybe the 62 converter slips more. I I I can't find on the internet anybody that's ever done any um, talking on it. So, let's see here, this converter is pretty, pretty chowdery, but I mean, it's just rust. So, um, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully, here and uh, tomorrow I'll get the engine in, um, do some cleaning up and organizing. Um, and, uh, go through the, you know, start turning the transmission apart. Um, I've never done an 8 90 before. I've done 400s, 200s, 350s, 6Ls, but never done an 8L. I don't think it's too bad. I bought a book and there's a plenty of videos on, on the interwebs for, for uh, 8L, so I should be good there. I know there's a lot of specialty tools and stuff. I own a machine shop, so if I gotta make a tool, I'll make a tool. But yep. So then again, there's our vacuum manifold that goes underneath the EVAP for our brake booster. So um, you have the line over here. So yeah, this will get modified, you know, this from the factory, you know, plugged in up there. I got a cap in it for now and then went down into the vacuum pump. But I believe something like this and then um, I'll get that fitting off and modified as well. So yeah. So hopefully in about another week I'll have engine in, transmission apart and back together, and then throw a tune on it, 
and fire it up and see how it does so keep keep tuned in and subscribe and uh hopefully here in another week or so i'll have uh, another video thanks